Hey Simonics, what's up? Welcome to day 20 of the Ionic holiday calendar. Today, a really quick episode on uh, the topic of general topping debugging, I would say. So um, I know a lot of you know already about the Ionic documentation, which is really great compared to other documentations. You can basically find all the components, the CLI stuff, um, for most of the components, you even have a preview available for both iOS and Android, but there are still more things when you discover a problem that you should know about. So for example, you spend countless hours on trying to somehow position your elements, it's not working with the DOM elements, it's not working with the CSS, and at that point, you got two options, basically. Number one, you close your PC, you quit your developer job, and you learn something else. The second option is what I recommend to take a closer look and dive into the packages that you are working with. So, uh, let's say you are using whatever, Ion Content, Ion Toolbar, Ion Buttons, Whatever it might be, you can find all of these elements in the source code of Ionic. And to get there, simply go to their uh, repository right here, where you can also try to, first of all, find if it's already an open issue, but otherwise, try to understand what is happening behind any of the components that you're using. And to do so, go into the core and to the source part and then dive into the components and here you will find the list of all the components that you might be using so let's for example take the ion item a very classic example right here you will find all the css information for the item so item s css contains everything that the item is styled with you see directly all the css variables that are available and a lot more that is used on this item. Now, if you want to know how it looks in general, plain web components, you have to dive into the TSX file, which is using stencil under the hood. Of course, all components are built with stencil. And then um, there are two interesting things right here. First of all, you can find all the properties that you might already be using. Property color, a button, detail. And for most of these things, you will find the according entry in the documentation. Sometimes they are a bit out of sync, but Ionic uh, got really better in terms of keeping all of these information public. So here we go, button, color, detail, detail icon, and in the source code, button, detail, detail icon. Now, all of these properties that you find here can be used. So if you find something that you haven't seen there, then great success, perhaps that's helpful for you as well. Otherwise, you can also go further down the page, um, a lot of internal stuff happening in the item. And right here at the return statement, you will then find the actual markup of an ion item, which is like the closest to the bottom you can get. And in there, you will then find out how and why certain parts of the item look like they look. So you have the start slot, which will be outside of the item inner. Inside the item, here's the main slot of the main content that's in the item. So it will be inside an inner input wrapper. Then we got an end slot, which is actually in the item inner. Uh, and then pr some information if we should show a detail icon. So then you understand why certain input properties work like they do and uh, in uh, highlight and can activate stuff and more like this. So it is really interesting to see the code behind the uh, things that we're using. So if you have an ion item button, you don't really think about this a lot but it can be really helpful to see this tag more like uh, a bit like this, right? So let's go get this rid of this. It looks a bit like this. So if we had something for the, for the start slot, it would be displayed here. Then inside, we would now have the label. That's how it would look like in reality. An ion label, once again, is another web component that we could destructure into these classes. Then if we have an end slot defined, maybe we don't. Maybe we have an icon defined, then we would have a little icon in here. And you see, 
um, now you can get really uh, a better understanding of why your code might not be working. So it is always worth to check out these components right here in the repository to really find how they are implemented. And also sometimes you can find little gems in here. Like if you go to the utils section and dive into the, into the, into the, come on utils, what's wrong with you? Um, yeah, of course, and then it appears. So for example, the animation, which isn't documented very well yet, but I think it will be pretty soon. And we will also hear about this on Sunday. So look, really looking forward to the Sunday video. In the animation, you will find uh, great information about an uh, internal Ionic animation builder stuff that you can use to animate different pages. I don't want to get into this too much, but you see, this is perhaps stuff you haven't seen before, uh, and we might see uh, more documentation about this. But in here, there are really great sources of knowledge to better understand how Ionic works, especially also the back button. We had this in one of our days, and suddenly you understand why we had to define a priority on the back button in order to uh, get our event used on the back button. So. Um, don't just uh, stop here if there is something not explained carefully in the official documentation. Um, I wouldn't say this is the marketing, that's really a developer documentation. But if you're serious about a problem, if you can't find a way to fix this, the uh, only place of truth is the source code that you can find public on GitHub right here. So I hope you enjoyed this quick adventure into a uh, better understanding how Ionic works and how you might be able to fix your problems, even if it doesn't really look like you can find a solution. Um, tomorrow we will have a regular another episode and I'm already looking forward to Sunday. So be prepared for some really great stuff over the weekend and I will catch you tomorrow for a brand new day of the Ionic holiday calendar.